Hello and welcome back to the David Klein Furniture Channel. In the last video I focused on cutting the pins for the dovetails. On this video I'm going to focus on cutting the tails. But first I want to step back just a second and recap. In the last video I cut these pins. I'm going to recut a set of pins because I want something that's a little bit higher quality. So I have these laid out. I'm going to cut them off camera and I'll bring you back once I'm ready to do the for the tails. These are how the cuts look when I don't have to work around a camera. So this is what the pins look like after they've been sawn, the waste removed, and the edges paired and everything trued up. That is taken about an hour and 10 minutes. I'm going to zoom in on one pin. You can see also in these areas where I've relieved the surface a little bit with a chisel. And now the next step is to transfer the pins onto the tailboard, the boards that make up the side of the box. We'll go into the workbench and I'll show you that there. The vertical piece is the pin board that I just cut. The Brace behind it are blocks to hold it to the side piece, which is the one that we cut the rabbits on in the earlier video. And what we're going to do now is trace the pins onto the tailboard. To trace the pins to the side or, or tailboard, you can come in with a pencil and that would be your line or what I've been doing most recently is I come in with a knife I put it up against the pin I'm pushing in this direction this way and that's up against that stop and I don't drag the knife I just push the knife down and that is what I have found to be the most accurate line. I'll do that on all of these and then show the results. It's hard to see but this is the pencil line I did. I did it with the knife so you can see that the waste would be this whole area and then this, this, so I've removed the top. So this is the area after it's been scribed. And then I'll put this tail piece in the Moxon vise and I'll show you how I lay out the top edge and then saw those lines. We're back at the box on. This is the bottom of the box. This is the top with the squared off pin. And I'm just going to use a knife lining it up with the scribe line and striking it across the top. And then I'm just going to cut inside those lines. And that's it. I'm not going to show cutting all of them. But that's the idea to get close to the line, but don't 
across the line and I'll be back once those are all cut. And that's how it looks cut. And this is what it looks like when that first side is chopped halfway down. And this is the other side, it'll be the outside of the box. And you can see that I extended the lines in with the knife. And now I'm gonna chop down from the block. I'll do one just to demonstrate here quickly if I can stay out of the way of the camera. And that's it. You just keep chopping that way. And this is how it looks when they're chopped. You can see still pairing that needs to be done, but the shoulders are chopped. To do the pairing, I have a thinner emery board and the bottom of the board, the the end of the emery board that goes down into the pin socket has been cut on an angle that's about seven, eight degrees to equal the angle here. So it gets down into the corner. And I just come in or from this direction, the emery board fits closely into the corner. It's not perfect, and I go back with the knife to clean up the corner, but the benefit is if you pull it up just a small fraction of an inch, you can shape this inside surface so that it aligns with your scribe lines so that your pins will fit. And I do this with the inside of the box at the back, and I just come in and shape that surface and and that's it i've already started doing some the next step is the fitting and we'll do that now this is the demonstration piece that would be the side of the box i want to show if i can the way the pin sockets look when they're paired. So this is the top of the box. This is the top of the front of the box. It's a very tight fit. Right now I'm going to have to work on this. You can see it's not quite back yet. It's starting to fit. I'm going to take it out and pair it more and then come back. There's a shadow there. There's some shadow lines, but you can see how things are starting to come together. I'm going to keep pairing it and show you when it's fitted. Here's the joint fitted together 
see a lot of shadow lines in the camera right now. I'm going to take the camera out of the tripod and try to do some close-ups. There are some gaps here right in the front edge. Those I can deal with during the glue up, but this is pretty much it. This one's the biggest. It's a fraction. It's It looks big, but it's not that big. And I think during the glue up, I can get that to work out. This one had a big gap, so I put a little piece in. And that's it for hand cut dovetails. The next step will be during the glue up, how I deal with all these little gaps. Uh, the important thing is that there's no cracks, there's nothing glaring. All this can be dealt with during the glue up and then uh, after the glue up sanding the pins, there's a, they protrude just a tiny bit. And when you sand those into the gaps, it looks like a completed corner joint. The next video will be cutting the rabbits and getting the box, the four sides and the bottom of the box ready to glue up. Thank you for watching.